No oh, way. Guys, this is good. Where, where, is, where is this from? Scary. Hey guys, it's Max. Angelica. And Vadim. And today we are doing another blind camera comparison between the brand new Pixel 5a and, and the, the iPhone 12. 12, which is the same as the 12 mini, almost the same as the 12 Pro. And I know that's a flagship, but this thing has the same sensors as the Pixel 5 for these shooters. And we've also had a lot of software updates. So I'm personally very excited. I shot a bunch mm -hmm. of photos. They have not seen them yet. Nope. So what are we doing? <laughs> so go ahead and grab a paper and a pen if you want to play along. And don't forget that if you need more time, you can go ahead and pause the video and look for yourself. All right. Let's jump right in. What do you guys see other than an absolutely smoky, sad Spokane? <sighs> Uh, more detail on the left. Uh, I think it definitely is better from what I can see now. You can see a lot more detail on the left. Yeah, kills it. But it might absolutely. be like a little over sharpened to me. I don't know, man. It kills it. You just I look at all the way down there. there like, <laughs> yeah, tons of details in there compared to that one. I Hold actually it. don't remember which one is which for probably a lot of these. Okay. Well, let's hope that's the phone that's almost twice the price. Nope. Pixel. What? <laughs> it looked sharpened. Like I said, it looked it like it was it. after processing stuff. Wow. Did you get new glasses? It's sharp. No? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Second one, we got a selfie here. Yeah, the one on the right, absolutely. Like the one on the left is way too warm. Everything has like a warm tint to it. And of course, sky's blown out. I do agree. Although yeah. the details almost look crushed in the right yep. one, like in his eyes, hair, and shirt. Pixel again. Pixel again. So far, Google, Pixel is going. Stop How it. can the <laughs> iPhone 12 still blow <laughs> out that with the A14 and yeah, all no the sense. processing? It makes no sense. All right, we got an ultra wide here. Okay. Honestly, I like the one on the left. Me it too. just feels more lively and colorful. The one on the right just seems too cool and kind of dark and crushed and yeah, it like look depressing. As <laughs> iPhone 12, finally one for the iPhone. And okay. we have a zoom shot. Yeah, one oh, on the right. There's so much easy. like noise on the left. It's easy. Tons of noise and just, yeah, it doesn't look as good. That is the Pixel, Pixel. 5a. Now Pixel this 5. is actually okay. a zoom shot indoors and I can't believe the difference in quality with that zoom. Interesting. Oh, yeah, huh. The right is so blown out. There's like no saving it. Yeah, it's definitely blown out, but it looks better. <laughs> like the style of it, you know? Would there's, you rather have a blown out shot or a... There's no way I would choose that one. I would choose that one. You would post. You don't have to do any editing. It looks awesome. It's nice. Hey, it's artistic. It's artistic. <laughs> Honestly, I still like it. Like, I would rather post that. No. Even though it's blown out, Honestly, it looks better. Bam. Oh, I, I should have asked you guys what you thought was what. What did you guys <laughs> think was which? iPhone. You thought it was the iPhone yeah. blowing it out? All right, here we go. Wow, wow, the one on the right. Like, what did what did it do? Like, it smeared all the... You could, like, yeah, barely read can't... my fresh basket. Here, it's super sharp. Yeah, yeah neither of these cameras have yeah. dedicated telephoto lenses. This looks like it actually yeah. has one. This looks like it doesn't. And that is the iPhone Ooh. 12. That is incredible with the algorithm that the Pixel is using for that. And we have our first portrait okay. shot. The one on the left looks much better. I like the left one more. Yeah, the one on the right is just too dark, like details are crushed, yeah. like inner eyes, hair in the background, and it's too cool, way too cool. iPhone 12. iPhone 12. Whoa. And we got a ultra wide here. Okay, this is kind of interesting. The left one is much more saturated. Yeah, honestly, yeah. But I think I see more detail in it. I think so. If you just look at these shrubs, bushes, trees, you could definitely see more detail everywhere here. Even in all like the yeah. water, you can actually see and, it. And you know, everything looks more lively. Pixel yeah, 5a. Well. And the interesting thing is this thing has a 16 megapixel ultra wide, yeah. but it does not look Still better. Still doesn't. Look at that. That was a cool artistic Whoa. shot. Interesting. I like the one on the right more. The left one just looks too dark in the mids and the highs. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the left. I think I see a little bit more detail in her, like her hand uh, in the flower here. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's not, much, not much. That's of a it. <laughs> Pixel, oh, Pixel 5, iPhone 12. We got a macro shot here, even closer. Ooh, the left one. Yeah, the left one looks beautiful. Like, Just the colors pop, like it really brings out. Look at these like yeah. little fuzzies on it. And you're They're a plant so person. Sharp. Yeah. Okay. Put, yeah. <laughs> iPhone 12 iPhone for 12. macro. Whoa. Yeah, the one on the right looks much better because there is way too much contrast and over sharpening. Over sharpening. In this, like this building yeah. just looks so ugly and all looks these a details. Too is, fake. Yeah, 
Definitely so, right. iPhone, iPhone 12. 12, so this is actually right. a standard shot. I cropped okay. in just so we can see the detail. At, at this distance, hard to see, but definitely the yeah. iPhone kills it. Maybe that's Diffusion. Yeah. Portrait shot right here, a wider oh, style one. The right one. Oh yeah, of course Why? the right one looks so much better. You don't like that darkness? The left one is so it's dark so and crushed. the portrait mode messed up right here. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, in between here, in between Mess here. Mess up multiple areas, and just like his face, like the exposure of his face is just too dark. Yeah, it's too underexposed, a lot of these. Yeah, so. IPhone. iPhone 12, so it's interesting, it's consistently like yeah. dark and contrasty for these. Yeah. And we have another portrait shot here, this time without a this is a portrait. Subject. This That's is a, portrait. a portrait. I know. Yeah, the one on the left looks left. much better in terms of the uh, blur edging. Yeah. You can see here it got the cracks. I can't believe that well. it got that. That is, this is tough. This is like this? a torture like, test. Yeah, it doesn't this, even this look like a portrait. Handle like, what the all heck? of these areas. Like you have blur right here, but you have no blur There's around blur there. Right here, but then no blur, and yeah. then blur. <laughs> That's a fail, yeah. IPhone. iPhone 12, so Apple, fi remember when they used to suck at this? Yeah, They used to suck at this, they finally got it right with software yeah. updates. We got another portrait shot here, except for indoors, very tough mixed lighting. <clears throat> they both look pretty good. I am gonna go with the one on the right. Couple of reasons, I like how it's a little bit brighter, and uh, the blur looks really nice. I'd say there's a little bit more blur than on the left, and I also like the extra kind of bokeh effect look of the lights. The left one I think looks pretty good in this, but on the right one you can definitely tell like they stand out. They're definitely the center of the picture. It looks more yeah. kind of like a DSLR. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Mm -hmm. You want to see, you know, the subject there. iPhone, iPhone 12. Woo. Pulling ahead. All right, wait, it's going to get interesting, guys. <laughs> Whoa. So here you go. I'm not going to say anything. What do you guys see? It picked up so much detail in the back. <laughs> and it's like much less blown out on those lights. However, Guess which I, photo do you like better? However, I don't like that about it. Mm -hmm. Once again, because this really stands out. So what happened here was that the one on the right isn't a portrait mode photo. It is. <laughs> okay, it's supposed to be, it's but supposed it's, to be? it didn't work, obviously. So if you're trying to really like make the car pop, it's definitely the one on the left, definitely pops in. It's I was trying to get a attention. cool, cool car shot. That was my, yeah, hope. This is crazy. It looks like it's picking up more detail in the background than actually here, because if you look at actual ah. text, it's Do you think it misfocused? Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is kind of blurry. Hey, they it's did get like rid of that focused. laser autofocusing system on this one. Yeah. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it. Yeah, I mean, Interesting. maybe that's the why the portrait better. mode didn't work. Maybe. I only I saw it later, but it wasn't able to do portrait from this distance iPhone 12. Okay. Whoa. And it got dark. Yeah, what the heck happened here, man? <laughs> what? It's so dark. Yeah, that failed. Oh my god. No, that's like double bad. First of all, everything's crushed. Everything is crushed. Like On top of that, shoes. you have flaring from the light going across complete fail. IPhone wow. <laughs> uh oh. Night uh, mode. Yeah, we're getting into the night mode, so. Oh no. I don't remember which one is which. This is hard. I think I like the left one more because it's much less blown out. Especially oh, yeah. you can tell over here. For me, it's the right one for sure, just because of the detail. Because if you look up close, this is all just soft and kind of blurry. Whereas that has tons of sharp details. I also don't remember which one's which for this, but for me, I like that like this is the subject and it really pops compared to all looking flat and dark here. iPhone 12. All right, and we got another night shot here. Honestly, I think the one on the right looks pretty bad. Everything in here is really um, noisy. Honestly, like, they both have downsides. Like, the one on the right, the sky is, like, brought up, so there's tons of noise visible. However, the one on the left, there's all this weird, what's it called, Max? Artifacts. Artifacts. Artifacts everywhere. Artifacts all over here, just everywhere. So it really kind of messes with the photo, and the detail gets lost as well, compared to the right one has more detail. It doesn't have any artifacting, it just has the extra noise. But overall, I'd rather have the one on the right. You'd rather have a noisy photo? I mean, it's just a little bit more noise, but it doesn't have any of this mm. crazy artifacting. So. I disagree. I think the noise is much more distracting. Yeah, I'm going with the right. <laughs> left. So the iPhone, a lot of noise, but clean. Portrait shot here. Oh. Hmm. 
I will say I was very impressed. Well, you guys choose whichever one you like better. But that to me looked more like a DSLR I shot. I was like, what the heck? How did I, when I took the photo, I was looking at it. Yeah, I instantly thought the one on the right. It looks really nice. Yeah, these are very similar, but I did notice that the one on the right is a little bit more bright and it does have more detail from what I can tell, like mm -hmm. in her face and hair. So it does take the win. Pixel, Pixel. 5. The bokeh looks way the more bokeh The bokeh looks so good. Yes, it's really And nice. it looks almost like what the iPhone did in the day, like brighter, warmer. Yep. And it's like at yeah. night they flip. Now for portraits, this is dark and yeah, cooler. All right, look at that. Oh. Yeah, this is just a flare fest right here. You have flaring just going everywhere where you don't want it. It's way more distracting. It just kills all the detail and the clothes, ja yeah. jacket, everything. Just yeah, I will no say, detail. I kind of like that shot artistically. <laughs> it is more artistic, yeah. but it's more silhouette-y and just pops. Less realistic, yeah. but more artistic. But I like how you could actually see some dark sky here. It's actually black and yeah, I just don't like how the whole image is warm. Everything's warm. That's Here true. it has some, you know. Okay, don't some, convince me, video. Right. <laughs> have my opinions, I'm sticking to them. Pixel 5. Pixel. That's some good night mode. And bam. Yeah, the one on the right kills it. It just It's not impacted by the flaring, whereas flaring, you can just see lines here, yeah. and it just kind that's of surprising. affects yeah. the image, and it becomes soft. Yeah. Boy, this is super, sh man, that's a killer shot right there. It's a nice shot. That's really good. iPhone 12. And Elon. Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. Wait, was he moving? Yeah, he was moving in both. He would not stop. Kids was, move. See, kids <laughs> move, you know, at night. Well, then the left one's pretty impressive. I will say, this is a very tough shot. First off, he would not stop moving. Second, we have a light right above, causing a bunch of flaring, and it's Page dark. Black. This is like nightmare scenario, but I wanted to capture Elon on there. If, if he, he wasn't, wasn't moving in this <laughs> shot, I would have yeah. picked it 100%. But I actually took both 100%. were taken at the same exact time. Yeah, but because the his face is smeared, then the left one wins. iPhone 12. Yeah, the iPhone 12 takes night, sh night shots twice as quick or even more. Mm -hmm. Like usually one second, two second, where this thing, I'm standing there For waiting, waiting, yeah. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> you can't see anything here. You're not supposed to see it. It's from nighttime. Come on, Medina. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? Yeah. That was just garbage, right one for sure. Yeah. Pixel, Pixel 5A. This is an ultra wide, so literally at night yeah. it started flipping ultra wide. Yeah. Looks amazing. Look at all that. I'll point that at you guys. I'm doing that stuff. Look at that. This is yeah. an amazing shot you want to have. What do you see there up there on that on that pole? On the pole. On the pole. I guess neither of are them we... are good enough. <laughs> we'll see which one is the best. But that's actually an owl that like flew <gasps> in. We're like, what is oh! that? It flies in and it was super dark. He can't even tell. And then we th we're like, is that real? And all of a sudden the head turns all the way around. And we're like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, it's the one on the right wins hands down. There's not even not even a competition. There's just more just looking at the grass and the yeah. yeah. This is all smeared. There's no contrast between it. Shadows. And like the this funny thing has. is, this yeah. was a one second photo compared to like a four second photo. Really? Huh. I'm like standing there. Wow. Please don't fly away. <laughs> iPhone oh. 12. Oh. <laughs> no. No Come way, on, guys. This is good. Where, where's where's, where's this from? What? Look at you on. <laughs> this is a horror movie that we're trying to take photos for. <laughs> where did the red come from? Um, what in the world? That's the streetlights. It, light. it wasn't <laughs> using. The street was it using flash? Red. So neither of them are technically using flash, and yeah. I was shocked by this difference. I actually took this photo. Wow. Um, that, whatever <laughs> phone this is, <laughs> was, wow. was just one time. That's Man. good. This yeah. one I did four or five times. Um, so really, this phone actually shines a little bit of light, but like a dim yellowish light, uh -huh. not flash. If you do flash, it's like blinding. Yeah. This one. You either have the option of flash, where it's like in your yeah. eyes, crazy blinding, and then the photo is like super ugly, yeah. or you use night mode, and that is what you get. It was really dark though, well, but yeah. this is reality. I took like, I don't know, three, oh. four shots, and then I tried the flash, it's completely different. That's so bad. I can't believe that's real. Yeah. How is it a real yeah. photo? And there's no flash on here. Um, a little it bit. shines a little okay, bit. So if you put flash, it's like, yeah. Yeah. and this is like a tiny bit of light that like comes in. Just from the display. I mean, from the display. Yeah. Okay. 
The Elon looks so scary. I mean, this one's obvious, yeah. but yeah, wow. That's, I'm really surprised. We complained for impressive. years about <clears throat> iPhone selfies at night. You either flash and look so ugly iPhone. and flat. <laughs> yeah. And then now, it looks better than a year ago when we first tested it, almost a year ago. And I know Apple yeah, doesn't tell people it. that like, hey, we make camera upgrade upgrades like uh, Google does and Samsung does, yeah. but they've made a lot of improvements. So that is the iPhone 12. That's, that's crazy. How is that yeah, real? That is, How is that photo real? Yeah. So that is it. That is our last image. If you guys follow Alrighty. along, play along with us, pause the video, count up your results. Let us know. We want to know what you guys Ooh. voted for. And this thing, I just set it up as I shot it. I know the sensors and the software is great on the Google Google phone, the Pixel. I haven't seen what your guys' results are. Mm -hmm. But I was not expecting this big of a difference. In the past, it was so close with the Pixel 5 and then the iPhone 12. So, all right, if you guys voted, that's good. Yeah. If not, You're let's ready. wait. All right, Angelica, what did you get? I got 16 for the iPhone 12 and nine for the Pixel 5a. 16 and nine. And Vadim? Yeah. 17 for the iPhone. And, and eight, eight for the Pixel. For the Pixel. How in the world did we get such a big difference between these? Huge. Is Google limiting this know. more? Did they make the software worse? I don't know, man. I don't know either. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't remember what we got last time with the Pixel 5. Mm -hmm. I know it did a lot better, better. than this. So yeah, strong cause... suits, ultra is good at night. Uh, yeah, but in the daytime, a lot of those just too cool, mm -hmm. too underexposed. Yeah. But you guys let us know your thoughts. Software. What one and why? What were your? Why did you guys choose certain photos? Uh, we want to hear that. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. You guys can click that circle above to subscribe. That'll also help us reach our goal of a million subscribers before the end of the year. That'd be amazing. Check out one of those great videos over there. This has been Max. Angelica. And Vadim. And we'll see you in the next video.